to study the dependence of potential difference V across a resistor on the current I passing through it and determine its resistance. Also plot a graph between V and I. Ohm's law states that if the physical conditions such as temperature, pressure, etc. remain the same, the current I flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference V across that conductor. Mathematically, I proportional to V or V proportional to I or V is equal to Ri or R is equal to V upon I where proportionality constant R is called the resistance offered by the conductor to the flow of electric current. Madam, how can we study the dependence of potential difference V across a resistor on the current I passing through it and determine its resistance? By plotting a graph between the current I and the applied potential difference V, we can study dependence of potential difference V across a resistor on the current I passing through it and determine its resistance. Let's do an experiment to study the dependence of potential difference V across a resistor on the current I passing through it and determine its resistance. Also plot a graph between V and I. Our aim here is to study the dependence of potential difference V across a resistor on the current I passing through it and determine its resistance. Also plot a graph between V and I. The materials required are a resistor of about 2 ohm resistance, a DC voltmeter of 0 to 3 volt, a DC ammeter of 0 to 3 ampere, connecting wires, a battery, a rheostat, a plug key and a piece of a sand paper. Procedure Note the least count and range of the given ammeter and the voltmeter. Clean the terminals of the given ammeter and voltmeter with the help of a sand paper. Also clean the ends of the connecting wires by using the sand paper. Connect the components in the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram while keeping the key to open. Slide the rheostat contact to include maximum resistance in the circuit and close the key. Ammeter and voltmeter reading will be minimum in this position. Move the slider of the rheostat to reduce resistance to the minimum and check that the ranges covered over voltmeter and ammeter are maximum. Now start taking the observations. Slide back the rheostat for minimum reading in the ammeter. Note the current I and voltage V. Change the position of slider in rheostat such that current flowing is changed. Note down the values of V and I now. Find the ratio between V and I to get resistance in the coil. Repeat the above steps for different values of current by varying the sliding terminal of the rheostat. Tabulate all the observations in the observation table and find the ratio of V upon I for each set of observations. Find the mean value of R. Plot the graph by taking I along the x-axis and V along y-axis choosing proper scales. Observations Range of voltmeter Rv is equal to x Number of divisions on voltmeter Nv is equal to x Range of ammeter Ra is equal to x Number of divisions on ammeter Na is equal to x Least count of voltmeter M is equal to Rv upon Nv is equal to x volt. Least count of ammeter N is equal to Ra upon Na is equal to x ampere. Observation table for readings of ammeter and voltmeter. Voltmeter reading V in volt. Ammeter reading I in ampere. R is equal to V upon I in Ohm.
mean value of r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 divided by 5 is equal to x ohm. Result The graph between voltage and current is a straight line passing through the origin that is voltage is directly proportional to current. The ratio of voltage and current is constant for a conductor and gives its resistance. From the graph we find that the slope of the straight line gives us the resistance of the conductor. The resistance of the conductor is equal to x ohm. Precautions All connections should be neat and tight. Any loose connection will introduce an additional resistance. The reuse start used should be of low resistance. The voltmeter and ammeter should be of proper range and must not contain zero error. The circuit should be switched off when not in use. The ammeter should be connected in series to the resistor such that the current enters at the positive terminal and leaves from the negative terminal of the ammeter. The voltmeter should always be connected in parallel to the resistor. Current should not be allowed to pass for a long time otherwise resistance wire becomes hot and its resistance increases. Battery and meters should be connected with proper polarity. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.